I can never figure out which color I like the best. They all seem so pretty cool to me. Here's our Handy Heater Pure Warmth that was purchased for about 40 bucks from our local As Seen on TV retailer. Let's do a quick unboxing. Inside the box, we found our Handy Heater Pure Warmth, some directions, and even a coupon code if we wanted to purchase this again. When looking at the Handy Heater Pure Warmth, it sort of resembles the Arctic Air or the Arctic Air Pure Chill, except those brought us cool air, and this is supposed to bring us warm air. Let's read through the directions, plug this in, and then start it up. I will say on the bottom, I immediately noticed a button, which must mean it has an anti-tip feature, which is convenient because, well, you don't want to tip over a heater when you're using it. So the directions give you a lot of warnings. I think it's hilarious right here where it says this heater is not intended for use in bathrooms. Wait a minute. I thought on the box it said something right here. Great for bathrooms. Why do the directions always contradict the box? Before we go much further, if you're new here, my name is Jeff and this is Jeff Reviews for you. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that aligns with something that you're looking for online, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now let's get right back to testing out the Handy Heater Pure Warmth. On the top of the Handy Heater Pure Warmth, we see that there are two buttons. We have a power button, well, which turns it on, and a button that turns the light on. So you cannot turn the light on unless you have the heater on itself. The heater has three settings, high, medium, and low. Let's set it down and turn it on. Ooh, when you turn it on, it immediately glows orange. Let's see what other colors this has uh, while this is heating up. It, I definitely feel instant warmth right here. Can you see this glowing in there? Wow. That's probably the LED lights, just like the original handy heater, but still pretty cool. Let's push the buttons to go through the lights. Oh, that's cool. I actually do like these different lights. And white, and then the last one. I know it's flickering there on the screen, but what's going to happen is it's supposed to alternate between the different colors. It does not flicker in person. Something I did not notice when I was just looking at the top, but as the LED color changes up top, it also changes the LED color inside the Handy Heater Pure Warmth itself. This has an intense beam of heat coming out. Let me get a temperature real fast. 267 degrees Fahrenheit. That is pretty warm. Let's see what that is in Celsius. 128 degrees Celsius. And actually just having my hands in front of that is really warm. Let's turn it down a setting. Actually, we'll go to the lowest just to see if we get different heat coming out or if it's just the fan. Oops, we're still in Celsius. Yeah, it looks as though the temperature coming out is also decreasing. So your three different levels does not just have to do with fan speed, but it's also the amount of heat that's coming out. Let's test the anti-tip feature to see what happens. Oop, as soon as I moved it over there to tip it, it turned off. And then if we set it back down, we actually have to manually turn it back on. I like that feature. And of course you saw that the color reset from blue back to orange after I turned it back on. So tell me, have you used any of the Handy Heater products, either this one, the original Handy Heater, or the Heat Wave? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Now we are gonna see if the Handy Heater Pure Warmth can actually adjust the temperature inside of a room. As you can see, I have this Accurite thermometer sitting right there, and it's behind the actual heating coils, and this does not get hot up here, so this is gonna detect the room temperature. So let's turn this thing on full blast. We are gonna check back in in 30 minutes. This room size that I'm in right now is 12 by 14. There is no other heat source and the door will be closed. So in 30 minutes, we're gonna see if this temperature of 66 degrees Fahrenheit went up. We are now at the 30 minute check-in and as you can see, the temperature in the room here has raised from 66 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's impressive, a four degree increase. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna move this thermometer over to the shelf across the way. It's about three feet away. Now that the thermometer is three feet away, we are gonna check back in in yet another 30 minutes to see if the temperature's remaining the same or if the, having the thermometer so close to the heater actually made a difference. 
We've been heating up the room for another 30 minutes, so an hour in total, and we have the thermometer back three feet away. You can see it way back over there, and it has gone up two more degrees Fahrenheit, so now it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, now the humidity is also dropping with all the heat that's being put into this room. I've been pretty impressed with this little unit, and as you can see from the temperature, it does raise the temperature of a room. Um, it's just like any other space heater, but I really do like the extra things like the lights that go with it, different colors, and then the three different modes for heat. I've had this heater on for the past two hours. I don't know if you can see that thermometer back there, but it's at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's gone down a little bit in temperature, but really this room has kept warm the entire time. It's actually getting hot in here. I'm gonna turn this thing off. In this video, we are taking a look at the Handy Heater Pure Warmth. It's an as seen on TV product. So what did I think of it? Well, first things first, it was about 40 bucks and that's a little high for me on the as seen on TV price point. But that being said, it's really right in line with other space heaters. I really like the ambient and lighting that you get here with the pure warmth and also the three different modes of heat. I kind of wish you could have used the light without the heat because sometimes I just might have wanted to do that as well, but you had to have the heat on in order for the lights to work. I'm a huge fan of the auto shutoff feature when this thing gets tipped because there's nothing more important than keeping safe when using space heaters. I mentioned before that I like the different temperatures that it allowed you to have a low, medium, and high. I really just wish it would have had a thermostat so I could set this thing at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and just let it go. Because sometimes when I had this thing running, it got really, really hot, and then if you go down lower and maybe it's too cool, just having a thermostat might have made that a lot more convenient. I mean, even the original one had a digital readout. Speaking of the original one, every time I go and post a review video online, I always like to see if anyone else did. And so at the time I went and checked, there was only one other reviewer that posted one. And well, that's James from Freakin' Reviews and he absolutely needs no introduction. And his video is pretty neat because he compared his original review of the Handy Heater, what he would have done then versus now. As to this one, it was pretty cool. I'll link that down below. Anyway, that was my entire review of the Handy Heater Pure Warmth. If this is something that interests you, I'll also put it down below. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. Two more things I wanted to show you. This is the filter that it comes with and I guess this is where the pure part comes from because as it's running, it sort of catches any allergens or maybe dust. Um, this is hand washable. You can wash it with water. Just make sure it's completely dry before reinstalling it. The last thing is the manufacturer claims that this is cool touch. And I will say when it's running the side, the top and the other side are relatively cool to the touch and you do not feel excess warmth. The back, the bottom and the front, however, get really, really hot, really uncomfortable. You definitely don't want to touch it. So my thoughts are if you've been running this for a little while, let it cool down for a few minutes before moving it. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Handy Heater Pure Warmth. You know what? I reviewed two other Handy Heater products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the original review right up here. And I also reviewed the Handy Heater Heat Wave. And I'm going to link that right here. And I would love it if you would click one of these links. And by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you right here or here. So go ahead, click one. They're safe. I promise.